Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a software called JPEG Mini Pro. It's something that I've been using for the last uh, few months. Um, I discovered it um, on a Facebook group um, where someone was talking about this particular software. I was curious, I downloaded the trial version and then I think a couple of days later I purchased the full licensed version. Now what does this software do? It's called JPEG Mini Pro as I mentioned. You have a look at their website, the software reduces image file size without compromising quality. So you can see an image which is before and after here. Uh, hopefully this is not a marketing gimmick, um, but the image seems to be the identical one. You don't notice any change in the quality or the detail loss in the image. One is 1.3 megabytes, the other is 0.7 megabytes in terms of the size. Um, so that's almost 50% reduction. Um, get the smallest image size without compromising quality or changing your workflow. You can upload high res photos faster, save tons of hard disk space, improve customer viewing experience and make your website faster. Uh, that was one of the reasons why I upgraded to the Pro version. I wanted to make sure that all of the images that I had uploaded on my website were optimized. Um, so basically I downloaded all those photos and images and basically re-uploaded them having run through this particular software, which reduced the file size considerably. So to demonstrate that in this video, I have selected about 10 photos, which I'm gonna show you here. Um, so I have JPEG Mini Pro loaded on the left hand side. And what this does is basically takes those images and reduces the file size down without compromising on the quality of the JPEG. So I have sorted these images that I'm going to compress in by name and you can see the original size. So what I'm going to do is load them up and have it replace these originals, but then we should be able to compare the original before and after size. So take note of the quality of the image the detail that you can see in each of these images. So I'm gonna run through all of them. So that's the Chicago Bean. Um, the, uh, this is the Hyde Mill in Wisconsin, in Madison. Uh, La Maison Rose, this is a restaurant in Paris. Um, this is South Bank in Melbourne. Uh, this is Rotorua, it's at a place called the Champagne Pool in New Zealand. Um, and, oops, sorry, jumped that one too fast. This is from last year's Sculptures by the Sea uh, event at Bondi. So this is one of the space junk sculptures. Uh, this is the Tasmanian Harbour, where I was a few months ago maybe a year ago actually this photo was taken. Again, this one as well taken in Tasmania. So relatively good quality image. You can see there's no kind of compression that comes from JPEG compression because normally when I export these images, I keep that slider all the way up to 100. Uh, now if you want to reduce the file size, you've got to move that slider down to 70 or 50 or less to reduce the file size. But what happens when you do that is essentially it is reducing the quality of the image by compressing all the data of the image as well at the same time. So these are the original quality images. Now we're gonna run them through JPEG Mini Pro. So I'm gonna load them up here. And it's gonna warn me that it's ab I'm about to replace all my original images, which is fine, that's the intent. But before I do that, I'm gonna drag this slider across. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna drag the slider across so I can compare the after size as well against the original. But because I've got them sorted by name, the order should remain the same so we can see what was the before and after size. Continue and watch this thing work its way. It is pretty fast um, when it comes to the, the conversion. It doesn't take very long to convert those images. Now it's done and it's reduced me in this particular activity, it's reduced that session to 191 megabytes that have been saved. Overall average reduction of 76% across the 10 photos. 
Now you can see the original file size has been reduced considerably for those images. Now we're gonna check whether that's made any difference in the quality. So again, watch this part at full screen so you can see the original quality. There's no change that is obvious here. No deterioration in quality of this one. No change here. Looks just as clean and crisp as the other. Same. Same. Just fine. That's it. So the file size of the original images has been reduced up to 50% if not more in certain cases. Um, in terms of the quality of the image, there is absolutely no change. So this fits in very nicely with my workflow. It allows me to make sure when I'm uploading to Dropbox or sending photos via email, I can send high quality, high resolution images at a reduced file size without compromising on the quality of the image. So if you're interested in doing the same or maybe you have a blog, you wanna optimize the performance and the load times and so forth of your website, make sure you check out this tool. It's called JPEG Mini Pro and uh, it's available via jpegmini.com. Um, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Um, if you're using another software or have you tried this before? Um, are there any free alternatives to this software? Because this one, I think the bundle cost me about 80, $85. Um, so if you know of alternatives, please share it here with the community. I'm sure other people would want to benefit from that as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning into another video. I will see you back here on this channel very soon. Make sure you're subscribed. And before I go, just want to quickly show you something that I've been working on. And that's, um, I've been creating some smartphone wallpapers for mobile phones. Um, I got this idea from a friend and uh, here is one of my images that I've got on my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Um, but you can download this image as well as others from my website, which is photoinsomnia.com. So go check it out. I'll put a link up in the video here as well. You've got various different uh, images that you can uh, download. So this is the one on my phone. Here is another and have some cool wallpapers and backgrounds on your phones. So check them out. If you like any of these images, download them. They are free, absolutely free. Um, you can download and use them on your phone to make it look nice and cool. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.